Easter everyone. Happy Sunday. Today is the day that you are watching this vlog. Sunday, Easter Sunday. So I hope if you celebrate, you're having a lovely day. So, so ho, ho, ho. So I got home from Scotland on Friday. You guys will be seeing the Scotland vlog next Sunday. I'm so excited to post that vlog. I've already started editing it and it's just the most wholesome, beautiful little video. It's like a proper family video. So cute, like a home video. And I'm just, I'm so excited about it. And I really hope you guys tune in next Sunday to watch it. But I thought I'd pop in here and say hi. Sorry that I didn't post the vlog last week. My plan was to edit it while I was in Scotland but it kind of went a bit awry and I ended up taking it mostly off anyway so you're getting the week before last vlog today I've just had a productive little Sunday to be honest which is a surprise because <laughs> last night I went on a pub crawl which was like organized in my local town with 10 different pubs so it was a 10 pub pub crawl 10 friends me and nine of my friends we all dressed up in different colors it was so fun and I'll insert a few clips of it at the end of this vlog we had such a fun night Rob was very hungover I didn't end up drinking 10 pints like absolutely not I don't really drink pints anyway I'm more of a vodka girl so pints are just not we don't we don't mix unless it is coming out of a bottle on a beach that is the only time I'll drink a beer I won't just drink a pint in a pub like that's just not me I'm very much a vodka lime soda girl I always have been so it was a bit of a struggle I won't lie it was a bit of a struggle for me but yeah I woke up feeling fresh as a damn daisy went to the gym went and did a food shop and now I've just meal prepped my dinners for the week and now I'm gonna finish editing this vlog so I've had a lovely little Sunday actually and I completely forgot that tomorrow's a bank holiday so tomorrow is also off not for me I will be working tomorrow but I won't be getting work in my managers won't be messaging me I can just work on my own stuff which is quite nice I like days like that that's why I like working on the weekends because I can just focus on what I want to do without getting distracted you know so yeah I just thought I would jump in and say hello explain the vlog situation I hope you enjoy this video from a couple of weeks ago. I'll see you at the end for the Sunday sign off. Let's hop straight into Monday. Good morning. We've all heard of Stig, right? You guys know Stig, the lump of metal that I drive around and call a car, you know? Stig, <laughs> everyone names their cars. Some people think that's weird that I name my car. I've always named my cars. I've also always named my parents' cars. Cars are a part of the family, in my eyes. You spend so much time with them. They go on every road trip you've ever been on. They are an integral part, and when you don't have them, you miss them. So to me, cars are a member of your family, and they deserve a name. You can call me crazy. I don't care. If you are familiar with the Stigster, which I'm sure a lot of you are, you will know that he has caused me quite a lot of trouble over the past couple of years. I've had him for like seven years, I think, and slowly but oh so surely he is starting to uh, age rapidly and at the moment he has a fun new party trick where he screams every time I drive him but only when I'm in first or second gear as soon as I speed up it's fine but when I stop at a traffic light or pull into my own home he lets off the most harrowing scream a little bit of personification of a car there it's not like a squeak, it's a scream. He's screaming at me. Honestly, so loud and it is so embarrassing when I pull up at a traffic light and people have their windows down. And now that we're approaching summer, people will have their windows down. I could never follow someone or be in a stakeout because <laughs> you'd know I'm coming from literally three miles away. I drove past my dad the other day, was very tempted to catcall him. Didn't need to, he already heard me coming and turned around. <laughs> Genuinely, it is so bad. But because I play my music so loudly, I really, what shade is this? Oh, the wrong one. I can't really hear it. <laughs> so I didn't even notice that it was happening for a little while until I didn't have my music on and I had a window open. And I was like, oh my God, that's coming from me. And it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. Long story short, I bet you all love this car chat. That's why you follow me, right? <laughs> the car chronicles continue. For the third time in about seven months, I'm taking Stig to the garage today to go and get it fixed. I went and picked up the part the other day. So we have the part. I know what's what it is. Well, I can't remember what it's called, but I have it. Now I just need the lovely man to fix it for me. That is the current state of affairs. But it is a very lovely sunny day and it's bright and early. I'm meeting my dad at eight. The fact that this is what the weather looks like at 8 a.m. is giving me hope for the future, honestly. Spring is coming, you guys. We are nearly there. We're so close. We're gonna have light evenings soon and my seasonal depression will just disappear. 
that's how it works my five minute makeup okay let's go get stig fixed and then i'll have him back at the end of the day and life will be good again what a beautiful day i'm walking home from a killer glute session and my ass is on fire and once again we're walking up the hill time to go and do some work but there's so many beautiful flowers around it's such a gorgeous day so i can't complain car is dropped off workout is done i just got home from the gym my bum is on fire i also am yet to put this back up on the wall how long do you think that's going to be sat there for Good afternoon, I just got ready. I've been to the gym, I did a lovely upper body workout. It was really fun and I felt really strong. I'm now just gathering things I wanna film for my vintage haul. That was from all of my corner shop outfits I need to tidy away. This is what I'm wearing today. This mirror placement really isn't ideal, is it? It's so backlit. But this little dress was from ASOS. I absolutely love it. I love the way it fits. It's the perfect length on me. Like this is my most flattering length like a couple inches above the knee i just got an email from peloton one minute <laughs> i'm just filming the cutaways for a vintage haul so enjoy <laughs> Done, bitches. Good morning. It's quite dark, isn't it? Why is it so gloomy? Hang on. Is that better? Yes, it's brighter, but does it look nicer? Maybe some warmth. Hang on. Look at me caring about how the vlog looks. Look at me go. Safe sex, guys. Safe sex. It's Wednesday. I am getting ready. I'm going to the gym. It's just like a mini getting ready. Honestly, recently, I've been in a weird phase with my makeup recently where like I hate wearing it, but I also kind of feel like I want to wear it every day at the moment to the gym. I'm just wearing it like a bit of an armor at the moment. So don't judge me. And I'm also... <laughs> desperately trying to use up my 10 pounds usually i would be doing quads today but i'm actually going to train glutes again because i'm off to scotland on friday morning and i think i'm going to do my quad day on friday morning instead because we need to leave somewhat early and we need to train pretty early in the morning and my quad day consists of a lot more like machine exercises rather than setting up weights setting up barbells glute day takes longer quad day is much quicker so i'm just gonna do that on friday so anyway long story short i'm training glutes but i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling pretty stressed i've had the the realization that today is kind of my last day to like do anything before i leave for scotland for a week i've been focusing on making these reels and these tiktoks all week and i've not filmed a video for you guys i'm in london for work tomorrow night and i need to pack i don't know my house is a mess i want to tidy up before i leave so i'm not coming home to a horrible messy house i feel like i can't move we're in screensaver mode guys which usually means that i don't vlog when i'm in screensaver mode vlogging counts as me feeling like i can't do anything so this is this is a good sign <laughs> so hopefully i can kind of snap myself out of it i need some caffeine i've had quite a low energy low motivation week this week i can't lie to you i need to do things <laughs> I need to do things. I, I just, I can't just exist. I can't just exist. I have to do things. So I'm going to start my day off, go get my lift in, come home. I should have written my to-do list yesterday because at the moment I just feel like I've got a lot of like things floating around in my head and I can't, I can't prioritize them. When my brain gets like this, it's literally just like I have a hundred voices screaming at me like, I'm the most important thing. Do me first. And like, I feel like I'm forgetting things. And it is just like, my little brain is really exhausting sometimes to be in. I'm not gonna lie. If any of you have ADHD, then you might relate to this. Usually movement, working out helps me kind of break out of that. Or it swings the other way and I am just exhausted when I get back. So I'm just really hoping that it helps. I wanted to film some TikToks and some reels and a YouTube video 
and I need to then get that edited in order to go up tomorrow. And I was hoping to post two videos this week, but it's already Wednesday. Why is my dad texting me? Oh gosh, I need to go take my car to my dad's house. He just reminded me I completely forgot I was doing that. <laughs> chaos up here, complete and utter chaos, but let's try and have a good day. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna take my car to my dad's and then walk from my dad's to the gym to get some extra steps in. That's what I'm gonna do. And you're only gonna get one midweek video this week, I'm sorry. Cheers. I'm home and I just got home to a delivery. <laughs> Alani New are so good to me. They keep me stocked up on energy drinks. I love Alani New. They've sent me the juicy peach flavor and my dad loves them, which I, I don't know why it surprised me so much. I offered him one when he was here one time and he really liked it. I don't know why. He just never struck me as an energy drink man. But he really likes them, so I'm really glad that they've sent me those because I'm going to take a few down to Scotland. Or up to Scotland, I should say. I am very much a southerner. I'm going to take it up to Scotland. Hello. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I just filmed a video. I did not see that happening today. I really thought today was going to be a write-off, but we freaking did it. I just filmed my vintage haul. Maybe you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, you'll see it next week. I'm very pleased that that's done. It's 10 to 3. Bloody hell. <laughs> I've been filming for ages. I just thought I'd check in and say hello. That's what I've been up to. I actually dropped my car off at my dad's. So do you remember I said that I needed to take my car to the garage? Took it to the garage, problem solved. Sounds like a new bloody car. Silent, he's not screaming anymore, it's stunning. But my dad is very good for offering to wash my car. So I'm very bad at washing my car. I dropped it off there this morning before I went to the gym. So he's been giving it a little valet today. So at some point later, I need to go pick up my car off of him. And I wanna do a bit of editing. And obviously I wanna be sat on the sofa, work done for the day, ready to watch maths because <laughs> God, I love maths. I love it so much. And none of my friends are really watching it, which breaks my heart because no one wants to talk to me about it. I have no one to discuss maths with. It's taking up so much of my life. I feel like I wish people were watching it with me. So if you guys are watching maths, can you tell me who your favorite couple is, please? <laughs> Just so that I feel like I'm not alone in spending every evening in a week watching <laughs> a TV show. I'm just sipping on one of these bad boys to get me through the day, you know. You know how it is. I'd love to stay and chat. I need to film these cutaways before I lose the light. Off I go. See you in a bit. <laughs> Good morning, happy Thursday. Today is the last day before we head off to Scotland. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I've written a big old to-do list and I've already ticked off one, two, three, four things, which isn't too bad. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine things left to do. The next job I was going to do was run to the gym and have a really quick workout, but my headphones are dead. So I'm going to tick off another thing off my list while, oh, I need to add another thing. Take bins out. <laughs> oh, I already started it. Excellent. Some things I need to get done today are obviously packing. I haven't packed yet. I got sent a parcel from All Saints, so I wanna show you what they sent me and I wanna film a TikTok for it. I actually filmed and edited a video yesterday, which I'm so pleased I managed to do all in one day. I have to take some returns to two different drop-off points. I then need to go into town and buy food for Scotland because we need to take our own breakfast. I then need to come home, get ready and film me getting ready because I'm going to an event tonight with Pepsi Max. So I need to also figure out how I'm gonna film it on my own. So today is gonna be a no time to sit down kind of day. As you can see, I'm like dressed and ready to go to the gym. I put on my headphones about to step out the door and they were like, boom, boom, boom. I was like, no, it's like the worst sound in the world. Hi, I'm flying through my jobs, so much so that I completely forgot to update you on any of them. I've just dropped off all the parcels. I've been to the gym. I have just picked up the world's quickest lunch because I need to eat basically on the move. And all of my outside jobs are done until I need to go to this event. So now it's time to head home, shower, make myself look presentable and film. I hope maybe squeeze in a bit of editing and I need to pack. The day's starting to run away though, but I've been really good so far. It's not even 12 yet. And I just filled up my car with petrol as well, which wasn't on my list, but definitely needed to be done because it was running low and I'm driving to Scotland tomorrow. <laughs> Progress has been made, my friends. We're home. 
we're showered, we've eaten. I'm gonna now do my makeup and get ready for tonight so I'm ready because I can always pack in the morning, but I can't be late for the event. I'm flagging already. I feel like I've been going 100 miles an hour. What's the time? It's 10 to one now. I need to leave in three hours. And I need to pack, get ready, find an outfit, film my outfit. Let's get ready. Do I multitask and pack my makeup bag while I get ready? That's normally how I do it, but I kind of, I kind of just want to get ready. I'm so glad I edited that video yesterday. <laughs> if I had that left to do today, I'd be fucked. I'm also feeling pretty pale. I haven't been fake tanning, like the longest I've probably ever gone without fake tanning. So I feel a little bit pale. There's now I can do about that now. We're just gonna roll with it. Should I just go like this and just fully grinch it? I always feel like I look like a grinch when I do that. This chair constantly sounds like I'm farting. I'm not. Farting. My chair just has an attitude and it always has something it wants to say. Does anyone speak chair? I'd love to know. I mean, it's whole life is my ass sat on it, so. Hopefully it's not complaining too much. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit delirious. I'm feeling a bit delirious. Vitamin C, the vitamin me. H2O for this hoe. I'm like out of my super goop glow screen. Oh, and it's on the floor. Stunning. I will mourn the day that this runs out. Right, I'm gonna play some music and get ready quick because my battery's flashing at me. I have to save some battery, okay? I'll chat to you in a little bit. Cool, fab, great, can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, catfish is back on the menu. <laughs> I've got a tooth whitening strip in. That's why I have a lisp. I don't know what I'm wearing. It's kind of a fashion event, which always makes me a bit nervous because I'm like, am I cool? <laughs> uh, and the answer is no, not really. <laughs> We've got to throw something on this board. So I guess we should go look. I'll show you what I end up figuring out. Please ignore the chaos I'm packing. But this is what I'm wearing. I am gonna wear a cap and a leather jacket and some leopard print creepers. That is the vibe. I just felt like a green on green vibe. And honestly, I'm very anxious about going on my own. I saw the guest list and I don't know anyone going. So I need to turn on my social battery and honestly i have been running around like a headless chicken all day and i am really tired so i am really gonna have to fake it till i make it today but it's gonna be fun i'm sure i'm gonna have loads of fun it's a cool event this is what i've gone for this is definitely not gonna be everyone's cup of tea it's definitely giving my corner shop outfit energy i've also i've run out of time i need to leave in about 20 minutes um so i haven't had time to film my fitness update and i also haven't had time to edit this video i'm really hoping fingers crossed praying that i have time to edit this video this vlog before sunday if not i'm sorry if i don't manage to get this up i'm gonna post this next sunday and then i'm gonna post the scotland vlog the following sunday which would actually put me one week ahead for when I go to the Philippines, which is in three weeks. And I've kind of also not processed that because I have so much I wanna film before that. So it might actually put me in a better spot. Let's go up to London. Um, it's in Shoreditch. It's like a corner shop venue and I am really nervous. And I'm like, who the hell is gonna take my photo? This means I have to talk to people and ask them to take my photo. Ah! And I also can't find my tripod. Like part of me was like, it's fine. I'll just take my tripod and like old school it and do it that way. But I can't find my bloody tripod. <laughs> I have literally no idea where it is. But other than that, I'm completely calm and fine. <laughs> And I ain't talking my pockets, just no we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit doing. Damn, she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole, I'm beating it down. I'm back. Hello. I got home from Scotland yesterday and today I'm going on a 10 pub pub crawl and we all have our own colours. There's I think 10, 11 of us going. We all have a different colour and I have been assigned red and this is what I'm wearing. Excuse the mess behind me as per. This is a damsel matter dress that I bought last year that I love but i'm wearing it as a skirt my classic little cherry top on this was from motel top shop on asos leather jacket very old nike trainers zara sunglasses and that's the fit <laughs> even though it's very red red is a color i love to wear so actually i really do like this outfit i was quite stressed actually getting dressed because i was like what am i gonna wear because i had no time but i'm dressed i like my outfit and i'm about to go and drink 10 pints wish me luck <laughs> Here 
we are back at Sunday for the Sunday sign off. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I have already edited it and it is a little bit all over the place, like a bit bitty, but I still managed to get a lot of work done and I still feel good about it. But the vlog just wasn't the best vibe, you know? But you guys, I leave for the Philippines in two weeks. How fast has that gone? I can't believe it's only two weeks away. I really need to film a fitness video, like a fitness update for you guys. My like nasty voice in my head is like, you've undone all of your progress, but I haven't. I got back on Friday and I've already been to the gym three times. Like I'm well on track to hit my goal of 140 workouts before I leave. I Today was my 130th workout. So I only have 10 to do across the next two weeks, which is completely manageable. That's five workouts a week, which is what I've been doing anyway. So I'm on track. I am on track to achieve my little goal. Next week, I'll show you the progress up to the week before I left for Scotland. I'll show you my like final results. Um, before I leave for the Philippines, as well as maybe like a what I eat in a day, something like that. But yeah, we leave in two weeks, which means we are in grind mode. I'm gonna be gone for three weeks and I want at least one video to be going up for you while I'm away. There's gonna be so much content going on my Instagram and my TikTok. So if you're not following me, follow me because I'll be doing outfit of the days, cute little like trendy reels. I'll be doing like vlogs of fun days. I won't do daily vlogs like I have for Scotland, which if you've not seen the Scotland daily vlogs, I've already posted two of them. I'm posting them on my Instagram and my TikTok. And I think they're very sweet. I won't be doing daily vlogs of the Philippines because I want to really relax. But like special days when we swim with the whale sharks, things like that, I will be vlogging. Um, so if you want like sneak peeks before the vlog when we get home, then definitely follow me over on my other socials. Uh, Cause I'm really enjoying Instagram again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> but yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of pre-filming happening over the next couple of weeks. And I have a lot of beauty maintenance to do. I get manicure, pedicure, waxes. I wanna get an LVL. I'm getting my hair done. I am doing a full, a full beauty reset. I am gonna feel my absolute best on this trip. So I'll be doing a full beauty prep vlog separate to the weekly vlog I think like a reset vlog because I love watching those like a beauty maintenance week vlog I think that'll be really fun I also need to pack figure out what the hell I'm taking with me I need to do some planning for the actual trip I have a lot to do in two weeks and I have a really strong feeling that the next two weeks are going to fly by <laughs> it's gonna go real quick real quick but yeah I'm just I'm so 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 excited and I cannot wait to share it with you like I can't wait oh my god and I just can't wait to see Cara if you don't know Cara is one of my best friends in the whole world and she's been traveling for like seven months with her boyfriend lovely lovely Els who is also one of my dearest dearest friends and they've been gone for so long so I'm equal part excited to go to the Philippines because it's like top three bucket list countries for me but also I'm so excited to see my friend who I've not seen in so long. I can't wait. The night last night with like nine of my best friends, there were only like a few of us missing. And obviously two of them were Cara and Elliot. And I was like, I just can't, I can't wait for them to be back and for us all to go out with them and like get them back in the group. We miss them. That's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, that's my meal prep done. So I need to go and take that off the hob. Lovely timing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week for a little fitness update and for the Scotland vlog. Ah, oh, exciting. So exciting. Love you, bye. Mwah.